Okay, here we go then. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, it made sense to me to make this first video about me, uh, to give you guys a bit of an insight into my uh, my background. I am not very confident in front of the camera. In fact, this is part of the reason I'm doing this channel is to try to challenge myself um, and push that kind of confidence side of things a bit. So uh, bear with me if the... Uh, the, the conversation, the one-way conversation ebbs and flows and is a bit stuttery, um, but I will get better, I promise. And uh, also, with future videos, just be cautious, uh, be conscious even, that the editing uh, will not be professional, but um, I'm working um, to do my best to bring you some kind of different stuff um, to do with my life. Um, but for now, uh, like I said, it's about me. Um, because I didn't know quite how I would go with this, I put some questions together, so I'm going to get stuck into them, answer those, and uh, that should set us on the right path. So now, obviously, I am a bodybuilder. I uh, have been for over a decade. Um, but initially, when I first started out, um, kind of getting into sport, I was one of those kids I was quite lucky. I was very good at, um, or pretty good at all sports, really enjoyed every sport, always out of the house, playing football, swimming, athletics, anything and everything. Um, when I was 10, all the way through till 18, um, I took swimming very seriously. And I did that at quite a high level, um, competing at um, Commonwealth trials, Olympic trials, and kind of high end national competitions. Obviously, since then, um, I've transitioned into bodybuilding, maybe a quite unusual transition, uh, but I think the discipline and the work ethic from swimming really set me up well for that. So, yeah, I've been bodybuilding now. I did my first show in 2010. Um, but been training kind of as a bodybuilder, learning learning the ropes as a bodybuilder for, for the past 10 years. Um, and absolutely love the sport, love the lifestyle, um, found a passion. And um, yeah, it, it really is everything to me. So the reasons I got into bodybuilding uh, are twofold really. Um, I was always a very, very skinny kid. Um, I'm six foot six. Um, when I was 18, I weighed about 85 kilos. Um, I now weigh 150 kilos off season, 130 kilos plus on stage. Um, and I always was very self-conscious. I was always very, uh, had low confidence because of it. I just felt very stringy, very sort of out of place. Um, and in my head, I always thought if I get bigger, I'm gonna be more confident. Um, and whether it's because I put those things together or, it, or it, it's, it's a true thing, but it happened. Um, it took me out of uh, my shell and it gave me an element of confidence that has kind of developed and shaped my life since. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's given me a profession, it's given me a career, it's given me a huge amount of satisfaction, achievements, made some incredible friends. Um, you know, it was, it's, it's really... Um, I feel so grateful to have found what I really feel my purpose and my passion is. Um, the second reason uh, was obviously being kind of a, a swimmer who, who trained a lot. I was training kind of 40 hours a week. Um, I needed something to put my time into and the gym was there. Um, I was at uni at the time, so I had some lectures, but I had free time and uh, I made the most of it. And yeah, absolutely fell in love with the gym, fell in love with the process, learned more about it, learned more about the diet. And um, like I said, it's taken me from there as, as a beginner with no real knowledge to where I am now, um, more, much more advanced, much more knowledge. And, and like I said, built, um, built a career out of it. So from a professional standpoint, I know a lot of um, people aren't quite sure what bodybuilders do. Like, how do you make your money? What do you do? Um, I um, graduated. Uh, from university in 2009. Um, I then worked straight in a gym for the next five years, um, just as a gym instructor. Um, I did a little bit of online work, a little bit of PT here and there, but most of the time it was just um, kind of being a gym attendant. Um, what it did do is gave me a lot of time to focus on myself and my training and my bodybuilding, which I really appreciated and loved. But then it got to the point where I wanted to push myself further. I didn't just want to be kind of a bodybuilder and not have anything else to me. I wanted to build on, you know, what I loved and help others and 
I was then fortunate to get a job at a really amazing private training facility in Nottingham called M10, run by Mark Coles, um, where I worked there through till the beginning of this year. Um, so we are 2019, um, till February 2019, I worked there, you know, really developed my skills, personal training, developed my knowledge through the guys who worked there, um, built up a, a good portfolio and was able to put myself in the position where from February this year, I've been online coaching exclusively um, and it's been going really well uh, I absolutely love it you know it gives me um, a client base who I can really get on with um, and, and kind of link with and um, it also gives me again the, the freedom and the flexibility to continue to pursue my own passion of bodybuilding and, and progress there so the two go hand in hand wonderfully I'm really excited for the future obviously it's early days for my business uh, but all be all is going well and yeah bring on the next Five, 10, 15, 20 years, let's keep pushing. So for my future goals and plans, um, I've got my kind of personal goals, my professional goals, and then obviously goals within bodybuilding as well. Um, my personal goals will always remain very personal, um, so that's that. <laughs> and um, with regards to professional goals, obviously the, the, um, the business I've built so far this year, to keep building on that, to get myself in a position where, you know, I have such a strong group of a team of athletes who I work with. Um, you know, I love everybody who I work with at the moment and I just want to be able to build on that, uh, build the success of the team, build the success of my brand and yeah, five years time, um, be more of a name than I currently am. Um, you know, constant progression will always be the focus and driving force in all aspects. So with regards to bodybuilding, um, the focus there is same as it always has been for me. It is going to be better, um, look better, um, just generally progress. I don't put emphasis on results, never have done. Um, some people don't believe me, but bodybuilding is one of those sports where I think if you put too much focus on results, you're always going to be disappointed because you know there are so many incredible athletes out there um who can turn up the day what shape they can turn up on the day it's just a complete unknown it's not like other sports where you know you can be a better athlete and you can beat someone outright you know even if you were the best on the day the judges may not see it that way so for me i want to be uh, i want to improve i know areas that i look at and i want to be better uh, bigger can more conditioned etc so every year is moving towards you know my perfection which doesn't exist but that constant striving for better so with regards to what i want to kind of achieve from this channel as i touched on at the beginning it's kind of a personal challenge for me technologically speaking i'm not very savvy so that's challenge number one um confidence in front of the camera also lacking um so again challenge number two trying to work on that but I just thought it'd be really cool. Um, obviously, now I've been bodybuilding for a while um, and I do feel like I know what I'm doing. Just to give people an insight into kind of various aspects of my life. Um, so, obviously, at this precise moment, I'm three days out from the Mr. Universe. So, I'll be getting some content for that. Um, I've already got a video that I'm going to put up shortly um, of um, a guest spot I did. So, just to cover kind of the day in the life sort of stuff. Um, I'll try not to bore you too much with anything. Uh, this hopefully will be the most boring video you watch if you're still watching it by now. And if you are, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I won't go on anymore. Um, I'm looking forward to this journey and to seeing what we can achieve with, uh, with YouTube and, and to see kind of the response I get. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If, um, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Um, any comments about videos you want to see now or in the future, please leave them below. Um, and any questions, etc., always feel free to leave as well. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, here's to this chapter.